Well, I, I'm seeing it on here. You're lying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah. So we're just seeing. So where is she? So that's where she is. So and she's and Simon's standing there. She's going to do the uh, take the picture. So we can't see them. Okay. So I'm just going to see them. It's not really, I don't know if you can see this in the end or not. Um, but, um, but at least we'll be able to, to see uh, see them. And she has a picture of them anyway. Thank <laughs> you. 
Mr. Reed, stop talking about your butt. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody, please take your seats. We'll be starting in one minute. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody, please take your seats. We'll be Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the WL Seaton Secondary School Commencement Ceremony for 2022. My name is Chris Olaf, and I will be your master of ceremonies for this afternoon. I 
like to acknowledge and appreciate that we live, learn, work, play, and graduate on the ancestral, traditional, and unceded territory of the Silver Nation. <laughs> Before we begin, I just want to let families know that uh, Megan from Mountain West will be taking photos of drafts, and each family will receive a photo of each draft as a, uh, as well as a photo with the presentation for awards uh, as they go out to the frontier. Uh, so that'll be enjoy the ceremony. So I'll invite them for a photo. It is both an honor and a privilege that I've been able to be an MC. I know many of the grads for the past five years, and I'm proud to see them graduate and continue on with their lives. It's been a while since we've had a real graduation ceremony, and it's really great to be doing this again. Without further ado, may I have the pleasure of presenting to you the class of 2022. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
love of God is there. But we'll forget we'll to continue God with the same. Ladies and gentlemen, the class, we welcome you.
Education does not come freely or without effort. The payoff of achieving higher education comes down the road in the future. Malcolm X, an avid leader and exporter of the payment of knowledge, once said, education is our passport to the future. For tomorrow belongs to the people who prepare for it today. I'm proud that you did not cast away your dreams and stay true to your goals and yourself. Before us, we have the end results of your hard work. A graduate, a graduate, but not any graduate, a graduating class of 2022. Lastly, I would like to congratulate the 2022 grads by saying graduation is not the end, but a new beginning. You start a new chapter in your life. I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Life and Thank you. Thank you, Alan. Next, with greetings from the school board. Thank you for having me here today. I am honoured to be attending the first round since 2020, 2019, when we were actually able to celebrate in person. I hold my head up to all of you, you've done so well in these really troubled times. 
problems that we've experienced. The adaptability that you've shown and the dedication to your studies has not been unnoticed. And the Board of Education would like to celebrate every single one of you for all of the work and commitment that you've done today. Up until today. As Councillor Louis said, this is the first day of the rest of your life. And from now on, we are a free country and you have the freedom to make your choices. And I hope with hand in heart that you make the choices that work best for you and your families and leave the legacy that you are destined to bring. Thank you again from the Board of Education. Good afternoon, students secondary. Welcome to all of you, honored guests, community members, parents, guardians, relatives who have traveled from far and wide, School District 22 Board of Education trustees and staff, Vice Principal Brown and Vincenius, Principal Huggins, and most of all, all my graduates. I'm Dr. Christine Perkins, and I'm very proud to be your superintendent. You have reached a milestone achievement that still many around the world will never achieve. In fact, UNESCO says there are still 57 million children without school to go to. British Columbia's public education system is among the top four in the world. We fuss a lot about education to debate, about the nature of change. Yet as for our mission, we remain a province of lifelong learners who can communicate, think creatively, problem solve, collaborate, and understand your own personal and social responsibilities. We really care about Britain education in British Columbia, so much so that we are the only jurisdiction on the planet that did not close down during the pandemic. And that is why you are able to graduate on time today. so much that we've all gathered here today. Now it looks like everybody needs a little bit of a mental health break, so let's all take a big deep breath in together, right? And out. Shake your shoulders a little bit. It's okay, you can have fun, you can relax. It's all going to be good. So four quick things. First graduates, I want you to get the phone number of the kid who teach you that you have the past four years, because they're going to be the people that will give you the references for the rest of your life. They'll meet you for coffee, they'll support you, and they'll turn out to be your friends. You don't really not think that now, but they will. So definitely uh, remember the teacher that you love the best, who treated you the best, and uh, they'll make a difference, not only in the last 13 years, but for the rest of your life. Secondly, don't forget your parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, and guardians. It'll be years before the majority of you truly realize what they have been through for the past 13 years. They'll be happy for you today, but they will still also be grieving. This is an important transition into adulthood. Reassure them that you've got this. I'm just give them a great big hug. Thirdly, don't forget where you come from, this beautiful Okanagan Valley. We hope you never forget the feel, the smell, the look of home, of this place. And lastly, remember to keep being curious, to keep learning your whole life long. And most of all, on behalf of everyone in the room, Please remember that you are loved. Congratulations to the secondary school class of 2022. Lynn, merci, thank you. This is such an exciting day, and I would like to thank our honored guests who have spoken to us this afternoon and shared a warm welcome and well wishes to our graduates and to those attending today. It makes my heart sing when I see Seth up here in front of the stage, drunk, showing pride in his culture. He has been a role model for our students in our school and has encouraged our younger 
indigenous students to join and to drum and to share that with our school over and over again. So thank you, Seth, for that. There are many things that happen in our school that over the last three years, and I want to thank our staff who have an incredible job of adapting to all the challenges due to COVID, the restrictions and challenges, trying to help our kids continue to learn with additional burdens. So I appreciate the work that they have done to help you graduates and re arrive at your destination today. Thank you, staff. Graduates, I remember the first time I visited your elementary theater schools when we came in and talked to you. You were full of questions, especially Harwood. There were tons of questions there. Then I went away and I heard about your exploits in grade eight and nine. It is amazing to see the many ways you have grown and matured since grade seven. You have had many accomplishments in the classroom, on the stage, in the gym, on the field, in the community, it was a privilege to see you develop, learn, and grow. Graduates, you have taken a different path to get here. Robert Frost, in the poem The Road Not Taken, speaks to the common path that looks appealing, well traveled, and then one that is less traveled and more difficult to see where that path will take you. Amidst the challenges that we face today, it is exciting to think about the path that you will take. Wonderful formal and informal learning opportunities await you and beautiful and amazing places here and abroad to explore. These adventures will help you learn more and appreciate the stories, the unique and amazing cultures and histories of the people you encounter. You may say, Mr. Huggins, you are living in the fantasy world. I say that as someone who grew up and lived in low income housing on welfare, Parents who had grade four and grade ten education in the fourth when I was seven know that it's possible to change your trajectory and those of your family members. No one is going to do it for you. Maybe this is why I have been patient and impatient as we have had conversations in classrooms, hallways, and sometimes in my office. When you open yourself up and work hard, there will be people who will help those who are helping themselves. In the end, this is about you. This is about the path that you will take. Will you stand up to the challenges that come your way that will build you up and make you stronger? The people who are grateful and recognize the blessings and opportunities in their lives are more easily adaptable and able to move forward be driven by solutions instead of being stuck in a quagmire of complaints. This does not mean things will be perfect, but they will be possible. I hope you take time to recognize and thank those individuals who have helped you on your journey, including our your family members, friends, Indigenous support workers, educational assistants, and may custodians, coaches, and teachers. This special day is about you. And you should be proud of completing this chapter in your journey. However, you are here as a result of those who have supported you along the way. What story will you share in 30 years after your graduation? Robert Frost finished the poem. I shall be telling this with a sigh, somewhere ages and ages hence. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by. And that has made all the difference. There are so many opportunities in this world for you, and I'm excited to hear about your journeys. We congratulate you, the graduates of 2020, and we wish you all the best. Thank you, Mr. Huggins. Before we introduce the rap, I'd like to say thank you to all the persons, families, organizations, and such as the CP PAC, the generous donations that provide the numerous scholarship universities that are to be handed out tonight to support our students. And now, ladies and gentlemen, with the introduction of the class of 2022 and the 
presentation of the course is all the anniversaries. Miss Daisy Schreier and Mr. Craig Calvert. Hello, everyone. My name is Craig Calvert. And I'm Stacy Sharp. So now comes the uh, the fun part of the ceremony as we introduce the grads and we read the messages that they have written to you. And I'll start with the first one. Angel Adam. Club 
Scholarship presented by Arlo Reed. And the W.O. Seaton Rotary Scholarship presented by Michelle Robinson. Congratulations, Esther. Simon, we'd like to thank the time spent with you throughout the school years. Simon will remember the memories made for the rest of his life. Firefighters Association 
Association Local 1717 Award. Congratulations, Mike. Mike, this is it. Mike would like to thank her family for bringing joy and love into her life. She'd also like to thank Mrs. O'Brien and Ms. Hanks for giving her a second home. Maya will be attending UBC to pursue a degree in psychology. In addition, Maya, the recipient of the Daniel Stephen Hack Award, presented by Heather Solomon. Thank you. 
Mission Team Scholarship presented by Ralph Bird. Congratulations. Thank you, brother. 
pursuing a degree in geophysics. Edwin is a recipient of the Fraternal Order of the Eagle Scholarship presented by Julia Moody.
presented by Sandra Patterson. <laughs> The WLC Blue Rotary Scholarship, presented by Amanda McKay. <laughs> and the William L. William L. C. King Memorial Award, presented by Jimmy Hammerstock. <laughs> Congratulations. Rick Francesco. And to the friends who stuck by our through it all, we would also like to thank all the great staff at the Seton Penitentiary for making the five year sentence bearable. Ren will be heading to Oklahoma College in the fall to pursue studies in audio engineering and music production. Congratulations. <laughs> Thomas will thank you all the staff at Seton, the principals, the counselors, all the staff and all the incredible teachers. Thomas is very grateful for you to help him, for helping him through his high school years and putting up with all of his questions. Thomas would also like to thank Ms. Brown, Ms. McKay, and Mr. Howard for their continuous support. Thomas will be attending UBCO next year, then UBC Vancouver to complete his bachelor's in engineering. Thomas is the recipient of the JNR Memorial Scholarship, presented by Amanda McKay. And the Silver Star Rotary Club Achievement Award, presented by Jenny Kinister. The WLC 
Teen Drama Award presented by Matt O'Brien. Thank you. 
as well as the WLC Rotary Scholarship presented by Julia Maloney. Congratulations.
You'll be attending art school next fall to learn how to draw funny pictures in exchange for money. <laughs> in addition, Lee is the recipient of the Creative Chaos Society Scholarship presented by Diane Weaver. The District Project Scholarship presented by Jody Jody Ibasad. The Helen Pitt Fund for Fine Arts Program Scholarship presented by Marvin Kadash. As well as the Maculate House Scholarship presented by Valerie Trewaniak. She has one of her ultimate inspirations, which came from her best friends, also known as her mom and dad. They have raised her and encouraged her to become the best version of herself, and they continue to stick by her side in the good thing. Isabella will be attending Old Mountain College in the fall to pursue a diploma in business and wishes the best of luck to the rest of the graduating class. Congratulations. <laughs>
as well as the William D. and Eleanor Jerry Hamilton Scholarship presented by Jody Aversaki. Congratulations, Olivia. Emily Lewis. Emily would like to thank her friends and family for all their love and support during her high school years. She would also like to thank the teachers and staff for giving their help and support towards graduation. Emily will be taking the gap year and then hopes to pursue a career as a midwife. Congratulations, Emily.
during the launch of her exciting career path of business administration. In addition, Sarian is a recipient of the Nixon Wanger Scholarship presented by Tara Hollowell. The Open Up College Community Spirit Board, presented by Jane Easter. As well as the Seaton Music Parents Association Band Scholarship, presented by Jason Pass. Supersonic Award of Excellence in an Outside School, presented by Jeff Adams.
attended Oakland College in the fall to upgrade her classes in hopes of getting into her dream university. Thank 
leaving high school something to remember. Then you will be taking the next year off to travel and then attend UBC the following year to pursue her real estate license. Congratulations, Kenya. Why did we In addition, Miley is the recipient of the Cam Jammers Car Club Bursary, presented by Ryan Beatman and the Fox Plumbing Club. Oh, I bet. Thank you. 
supporters for a few years. I'm going to be taking an associate of sciences program next year at Oak County College, despite her promises to drop sciences after every Figures 12 test. <laughs> Amigo is the recipient of the Mackey Big Cup Scholarship presented by Valerie Pichuria. The Okanagan College Lifted's Entrance Scholarship presented by Jamie Mister. As well as the Excellence in Student Achievement Award presented by Margaret Lynch. Congratulations. 
presented by Marvin Kadash. Nathan is also the recipient of the Stuart Galbraith Trophy for the top academic students. Stewart. 
other level of support throughout the last five years. Congratulations. All beside me. All right, we'd like to extend a heartfelt thank you to Ms. McKay for her unending support and love for her students, and to Ms. Sharp for the many life skills she's taught. Holly would also like to thank the Rock Climbing Club for their friendliness and understanding, and her friends for putting up with all the puns and arranged rants. Holly will be attending the University of British Columbia to pursue a degree in pharmaceutical sciences. In addition, Holly is the recipient of the Okanagan Learning Foundation Scholarship presented by Stephanie Houston. Congratulations. Oh, there's one more. I will stand the face of the memorial bursary presented by Julia Lowy. Congratulations again.
take these classes. We would also like to thank Mr. Carr for his five month extension on his final product. Eric Swell swears that he will have it in. Congratulations. Thank you. 
presented by Fabian Winter. start our speech, I just wanted to say how glad we are to have this opportunity to actually come here and be on this stage. And I just thought we'd give a quick shout out to the grad classes of 2020 and 2021 who were able to do the same. Wow, that seems fast. It feels like just the other day. We were grade eights walking down the massive halls of CE, looking up at those big grade 12s, and I guess that's us now. Except for we are really never grew. Oh, <laughs> yourself, man. Last week, a friend told me something I'd never heard before. He said, I love school. It is my pleasure to come here every day. And you know, it surprised me because up to that point, I had yet to consider that the quality of our education here in Canada is unequivocal. We can pursue our interests at a spoken scale and down only by our motivation. We can approach our lives without the fear of asking questions. And in doing so, we can uncover fundamental truths about ourselves and the world around us. So even if I may never have stopped for long enough to realize it, it was a pleasure to have come to see you the past five years. It was a pleasure in large part because we have such a supportive community. We've had parents and guardians who helped us organize this graduation. We've had friends and family and coaches who motivated us, as well as principals and support staff who kept this school from becoming a disaster zone. We've even had donors kind enough to help fund our future learning. And teachers who inspired us from elementary school to high school. 
You taught us French, Spanish, Okanagan, hopefully some English. You taught us to act in drama without causing too much drama. And made sure we stayed healthy in PE, especially on all our walks to Tim's and Starbucks at break. You taught us to use the scientific method to question what we don't understand, and especially everything we claim to understand. And we quickly realized classes like calculus don't teach themselves. You have made this school diverse in arts, athletics, languages, science, maths, and music. So thank you, everyone. Now, I'm sure many of, the, many of us had times where our academic commitments pushed us to stay up past 12 a.m., or as I like to call it, past noon. On these nights, I'm willing to bet that we felt a certain sense of, well, product panic. But I think that despite potentially having to relearn a course of material on these nights, it's not recommended. We knew that we could make it. We were motivated. But what if this motivation were to persist, even when it feels hard to keep going? No, especially when it feels hard to keep going. You know, not many people like to suffer or struggle. It hurts, it sucks. But if we can learn to struggle occasionally and see the benefit in it, I think we have a chance to be so much more, more than we are today. Because right now, we're all young. There will never again be a time when our capacity to learn something is greater than today. So why don't we take advantage of that? Let's all zoom out for a second and think about our collective place. We're all made of interacting chemicals in an infinitely long, expansive nothingness, living out our lives on a piece of rock that spins around in a bright light. That's weird. It, it doesn't make sense. But what if that's because the answer hasn't been laid out plainly in front of us? It's like when the teacher leaves a project open to interpretation. You can make whatever you want. So then, what do you make? Well, we can make up whatever we will. In those late nights, we often had a motivation or a reason to put in our time, even if we didn't have our entire lives figured out. And now we can use that motivation sometimes from the panic of procrastination to work towards whatever goal we want. It might still be a high grade for some, or a 51 and 1 for others, and for many more just the pursuit of learning. But now that decision is up to us. Maybe we can all learn something from the friend I referred to at the beginning of this speech today, the one whose pleasure was to come to school every day. Whether we love it or not, our education has provided us all with a kick in the can. Very rarely do we get a chance at a new beginning. So, as we hurdle through space on our little rock today, let's celebrate. Now, I believe what I'd like to leave you with today is best said in the words of Horace Mann Be ashamed to die and still have won some victory for humanity. Thank you. And congratulations to the class of the Thank you to all the people who have prepared to get us here today and being put on this event and bring us together. So thank you very much for all the hard work that goes into an event like this and for the wonderful staff support uh, to bring everyone here today. So thank you very much. And now I present to you the graduating class of 2022.
Sixteen viewers. Quite the audience. 